Hello and welcome to Christina's Cleaning and Home Making. And if this is your first time on my channel, welcome. I hope you like the videos. Um, if you could, please click like down below and subscribe. That's always appreciated if you haven't subscribed yet. And in this video, I'm going to be doing my fall decorating. There are, there are a few of us, there are a few of us Catholic mom YouTubers on here that are all doing our fall decorating this week. I believe the first day of fall was um, last week, but we're doing all our videos today. And so it's time to change out from spring and summer decorations to the fall decorations. And I gotta say, I'm gonna miss my, my spring decorations, especially the ones that can flow very nicely into summer. But the seasons are changing, the leaves are starting to turn already, and the weather is cooling down a little bit at least. Um, so I'm going to get started with in the hallway here. There are those two signs. Now you may have seen the video. I know I have it in my playlist for um, decorating and I also showed these in a haul that I did. I got these at Joann's and they were great for the spring and the summer, but I have another decoration that I put in that spot instead during the fall. So I'm take these down. And the decorations that I'm going to put up are these. I have these cute little pumpkins with little phrases on them. Now I have the Count Your Blessings. I have Praise God from Whom All Blessings Flow. And then I have the other Count Your Blessings. Now I think last year when I put these up that I did two Count Your Blessings and I put the Praise God somewhere else. And just because they match in that keeps it similar. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and do that this year and then I'll find somewhere else to put the, um, the praise God from whom all blessings go because that's wonderful and adorable and it needs to be put up somewhere too. I'm gonna go ahead and put these up. manipulate the wire a little bit that way it sits kind of flat and I also have some scarecrows that I'm going to put out front I picked those up last year at Joann's as well they had a really good deal on them and so they've just been sort of waiting in my garage until the season rolled around again and I have to say that's one of my favorite things you don't always have to do a new haul in order to decorate for fall sometimes you just pick up favorite items along the way or on clearance like for instance these were picked up on clearance from Walmart, that's how I got those. And so, put them up for a little bit of time while they were out of season. Now that the fall season's back, they'll go up again, and then the scarecrows will go out there. And I have a few other things that I do for fall, sort of changing out potpourri or marbles in various vases. And I might change out the flowers on my dining room table, but I'm not sure yet because I really love the ones that are there, but they are definitely more of a spring type of flower than a fall but I guess we'll see. Okay, so I got two of my three scarecrows in. That one sort of leaned up against the light because the tip of the stake that would take them to the ground is broken off, so I'm gonna have to get my husband to help me get that one in there. But in the meantime, I have the scarecrows out at least and two of them in the ground. The next thing I plan on doing is taking that metal wreath from 4th of July sort of theme off of the front door and I think I'm going to put the other sign from inside up there or maybe another wreath. And for the last touch, taking off this wreath and I'm gonna replace it with this, at least for now. I may change it out to something else if that looks like it's not handling the weather too well. Thank you for joining me on this video and I hope you enjoyed it. And I also hope it gives you some inspiration for fall decorating, whether it's new things that you just got or things that you've had for a while that you're putting back up again but getting to, into the spirit of decorating for fall and embracing the season. 
Thank you for watching. If you haven't yet, please click subscribe down below. And if you enjoyed the video, please click like.